In the last lesson, we did the Wheel of Life template. In this lesson, we are going to decide on what areas of the wheel that we want to focus on. Because what we focus on grows. I am so proud of you for taking the time in the last lesson to really reflect. The most important thing is to not get overwhelmed, especially if you're feeling like you're not that satisfied in most areas of your life. I have actually been there. In reality, our lives are never perfect. We are never going to have a wheel at 10 out of 10 status. We are not going to have a perfect Pinterest board vision board because we're human and we always change and grow and want more things. It is the magic of life and our experience. I have done a vision board now for five years, and what I love the most is actually seeing the areas that I was dissatisfied with, the areas that I wanted to grow. And when you take this time to do the self-reflection piece, the boards really encapsulate where you are right now, which is amazing to see year after year, especially as growth and things change and you get what you want, which is really exciting. So for this lesson, we are going to pick three categories out of our Wheel of Life exercise to focus on. You can journal along or download the PDF with the template provided. So first thing you're going to do is pick a category. This category is going to be the one that you feel really good about. You want to keep focusing on this because you're proud of how you are thriving in this area. Write down two things that you're going to continue doing to keep this area of your life feeling good. The next thing you're gonna do is pick two categories of the wheel where you would like to improve your number. You wanna be more satisfied in this area. These categories, you are going to think of two goals that you could do to make yourself more satisfied. If you're not sure how to go about this, ask yourself, what would this area of your life look like or feel like if it was a 10 out of 10? For example, My category of health, I actually put four out of 10 because I know I'm the healthiest when I'm working out five times a week and I'm eating home cooked meals. That is really not happening. So I need to make sure that I am focused on this area to make sure I'm the most satisfied here. I would write down as my two goals, five workouts a week and home cooked meals. Later, when I'm ready to collect images for my vision board, I could find someone who's running and put that image on my board, or I could actually find the number five, and I could put that in to represent and symbolize my five workouts a week. So having these goals written down really helps us in finding these images that we're going to be super connected to when we're making our board. We want to make sure that we are celebrating the parts that are going well in our lives, as well as setting goals to make our lives more satisfactory as we go through our days. In the next lesson, we're going to focus on motivational words for our boards and get them going. See you there.